We used to think that babies were born completely sterile, but over the last few years there's been uh, some evidence indicating that in fact they are not completely sterile. There is some amount of bacteria that the babies carry, and you can see that uh, at delivery. We think it does. Uh, if a baby is born uh, vaginally, for instance, what you're going to find is that a lot of the bacteria that the mom has on the birth canal are going to be transferred to the baby. On the other hand, um, if you look at a baby that is born by C-section, uh, you're going to observe a very different bacteria in those babies than to those that are born vaginally. Um, and so C-section babies usually have a lot of uh, skin bacteria uh, to start life with. There is enough evidence to indicate that, for example, C-section born babies can in fact have an increased risk uh, for uh, particular immune diseases. One of the things that we're trying to demonstrate is that these early life changes in microbiota as a result of C-section are in fact responsible for these diseases that we see later on. We're trying to provide these babies with the bacteria that a vaginal deliver baby would have to be able to have a therapeutic, a preventive effect uh, so before diseases are developed. We're still in very early stages of our work. There is very good evidence indicating that exclusive breastfeeding versus exclusive formula results in different types of bacteria. As long as you're breastfeeding to some extent, you're going to be able to transfer some of the beneficial properties that you find in breast milk to the infant. Uh, our recommendation is, of course, is as much as possible. You want to breastfeed. You want to add those beneficial properties uh, to the development of your baby.